Right Honourable Winston Peters. Can I ask the Prime Minister, having regard to the sincerity and integrity of that last question, was he, or Minister Brown or Minister Jones, asked to the meeting outside Parliament at lunchtime so that we would know for ourselves what they are saying and not the Green Party's pretense of what, and Maori Party's pretense of what they're saying? Yeah, yeah. I was unaware of that uh, meeting, but I would, I, well, we welcome uh, the contributions, as I said, through the select committee process. Never. A point of order, the right honourable Chris Hipkins. How can a question that begins by inviting the respondent to provide a commentary on the quality of the last question possibly be with an order? Well, the, the problem is that the primary question is about as open as you could possibly get. And I said that uh, it, it, it creates its own problems. I made it clear that the member could continue. Uh, but when uh, Marama Davidson mentioned uh, and was quoting, apparently, from protesters who are at the front of parliament today, it's not unreasonable to ask a question if the Prime Minister or any of his representatives were invited to speak there. Good morning, Mr Speaker. Are you therefore indicating that government members can use their questions to attack the opposition, which previous speakers have repeatedly ruled is out of order. Well, I think it would be a very odd thing for me to rule that someone asking a question about uh, whether they were invited to speak to a protest group was somehow attacking the opposition. I don't think that's the case. Well, look, the members asking me often to look at questions, and I do, uh, and I will do that again. But uh, do we have another question? Rawani uh, Waititi. Point of order. Yep. Uh, Mr Speaker, the Māori Party was brought into the, uh, the question of the uh, last uh, of the member, uh, and um, we, we didn't ask the question. So I'd like that reviewed and to ensure that the Māori Party isn't brought into any of the debate if we weren't part of it. <clears throat> Say that last part again. I would hope that the party Māori was not brought into the debate when we didn't ask the question. Uh, uh, when, 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 when that member asked the Prime Minister a question, he used the party Māori uh, after the Greens had asked that question. We weren't part of that question. No, and perhaps, uh, just a minute, perhaps uh, later when you and I meet over some conditions that were not met around that protest, then we can discuss this matter. The right on Winston Peters. Uh, right on what's Peters. Yeah, the real point is that the Māori Māori is so concerned at being mentioned, why were they there and the rest of us not invited? That's not a point of order. It's not a point of order. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Yeah, point of order. Pre previous speakers have ruled very clearly that matters outside the House are not matters of order in the House. That's right. The point of order by Winston Peters uh, breached that, but actually so did the ruling that you have just delivered. Well, that's, uh, that's an interesting... Uh, you, if you are unhappy with that, you've got a course of action you should take. Point Give of order, no, I feel exactly the same. Te Pāti Māori wants to express our extreme concern at the fact that the Speaker's raised something that had nothing to do with in the House and has made assumptions before he's actually met with the member and the co-leader of Te Pāti Māori. I've made no such assumptions. Ngāti Tōr, supported by other iwi, marched peacefully onto Parliament, slaying a wedal or a challenge for the coalition government to hear their concerns about the fast-track bill. There was barely a sound, only the subtle patter of footsteps, hundreds of them, and the occasional echo of a conch. No chance, their power was in their silence. Making their voices heard loud and clear. And taking their concerns right to the top.